Defeating a boss in a video game is supposed to invoke feelings of accomplishment, excitement, or even relief. But a well-woven narrative can change all of that, make us hesitant and question our actions. Some of the greatest bosses in video games we remember long after playing because we didn't want to kill them. To celebrate the release of Dark Souls Remastered, we're taking a look back at the story of Artorius and Great Grey Wolf Sif. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Deep Cuts, a show that examines lore, backstories, and theories in video games. The Great Grey Wolf Sif found in Darkroot Garden is one of the most memorable boss fights in Dark Souls. But who wants to kill a giant badass wolf who wields a greatsword? It's known that Sif was once the loyal companion of Knight Artorius, the Abyss Walker, a legendary knight who hunted dark wraiths and whose magical ring allowed him to traverse the Abyss. You see, our character, the Chosen Undead, is not the only hero in Dark Souls lore. Long before any of the events of the game, there were the four Knights of Gwyn, Dragon Slayer Ornstein, who we fight in the base game, Lord's Blade Kirin, Hawkeye Goth, and Artorius, the Abyss Walker. Artorius was said to have been one of the strongest of Gwyn's knights, and was the first ever mortal to traverse the Abyss. So when the land of Ulysil was threatened by the Abyss, created by a being named Manus, Artorius and a young Sif were tasked with rescuing Ulysil's princess, Princess Dusk. However, they would find themselves overwhelmed. In a last-ditch effort to save his wolf companion, Artorius sacrificed himself and used the magic of his cleansing great shield to erect a barrier around Sif. In a fate worse than death, Artorius became corrupted by the dark powers of the Abyss. The events of Dark Souls 1 and the journey of the Chosen Undead would not happen until centuries later. However, in the DLC Artorius of the Abyss, the Chosen Undead stumbles upon the trapped Princess Dusk. Upon freeing her, we're tasked with retrieving an old pendant, which was an item of great importance to Manus, who was the source of the Abyss in Ulysil. Once retrieved, Manus pulls the Chosen Undead through space and time to Ulysil, centuries earlier. It's here that we meet the three remaining Knights of Gwyn, Lord's Blade Kirin, Hawkeye Goth, and the now corrupted Knight Artorius. It's the player, the Chosen Undead, who defeats the corrupted Artorius, freeing him from the grasp of the Abyss. The players can find the young wolf Sif still behind Artorius's magical barrier. Defeating the phantoms in the area will free Sif and reward the player with the Cleansing Great Shield. Sif will also be available to aid the player in the final fight against Manus, the father of the Abyss. If the player saves young Sif in the DLC before the fight in Darkroot Garden in the base game, a special cutscene will trigger. Sif remembers the player from centuries earlier. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Deep Cuts, celebrating the release of Dark Souls Remastered. You know, the story of Artorius and Sif, it's just one of many great stories peppered throughout Dark Souls. So if this is your first time playing through the game, take it slow, read everything, and just, just take it all in. It really is a modern masterpiece. Anyways, if you like this video, please click that like button. It really does help me out a lot. Thanks again. Damn, I want to know what this little thing is. Ketchup? 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 Yo, that's what I was saying, Lou, man. He's gonna rip me into that shit. Get it out of your pants. Is he buying some powder or some shit? What is that? Fucking got me soy sauce. That is so fucking racist. Oh shit, it's leaking.